Thank you, Gabby. So once there was a girl named Amanda who loved helping other people. She helped her Papa David and Poppy Cesar with cleaning the house and raking the leaves and doing the laundry, which she actually liked folding, and she can come to my house. Um, and she tutored her friend Sarah in math. So she was super excited when her teacher said that all the kids in the class were assigned to help a community of people. And some would help folks who were living with illness, and some would clean yards for those who didn't have the physical strength anymore. Each project would be a little bit different. And teacher Mike told Amanda that she would get to help the people in Walden, which was a poor part of town and had a lot of food insecurity. That meant they were hungry. So he said, you can do any kind of service project you like, but I want you to help people who are hungry. So Amanda was super excited. She went home and she told Papa David and she told Papi Cesar that they were gonna get to help people who were hungry and she asked what they, should, what they thought she should do. Um, and she said, I think I wanna make sandwiches. And so Papa and Poppy and her neighbor Jim and her friend Sarah helped make a hundred sandwiches and they put them all in bags. They put a little piece of fruit in it and then she and Poppy Cesar went down to Walden on a Saturday morning just before lunchtime with a basket of sandwiches to hand out to people on the street. And Amanda went up to the first person and said, would you like a sandwich? And they said, uh, no thank you, I just ate. She went up to the next person on the street and she said, would you like a sandwich? I made it for you. And they said, no, I, I'm good. And, and she asked everybody, she asked old people and young people and um, you know, people who looked busy and people who looked relaxed and everybody said, no, I, I'm good, thanks. And then she was starting to feel kind of bad and frustrated, but there was this, this little girl over in the corner who looked like she was about her age, but she was really small. And it was sort of the only person left on the street that Amanda hadn't asked. So Amanda went over to her and said, would you like a sandwich? I made it for you. The little girl says, aren't you going to ask me my name? Amanda went, uh, OK, sure, sorry, what's your name? The little girl says, well, my name's Tiny. What's yours? My name's Amanda. So do you want the sandwich? Why do you keep trying to give people sandwiches? Amanda said, well, my, my teacher said I, I should help feed the hungry, so I made all these sandwiches, but nobody wants them. And Tiny said, well, we don't take food from strangers. And, and Amanda was starting to get frustrated, and she's like, well, but, but you're supposed to be hungry, and I'm, I'm helping feed you, and this is supposed to be really good. And Tiny said, yeah, but we, we don't want your food, as Amanda was getting really kind of frustrated, but she was trying to be nice. And she's like, okay, fine. Well, what do you want? And Tiny smiled and she said, do you really want to know? Amanda went, yeah. And Tiny said, okay. So it's true, we don't have a lot of food, but we don't want random strangers giving us sandwiches. That doesn't really help. The city tried. They gave us this piece of land, and they said we could build a garden there, which sounded great, and, and they were gonna give us free seeds. They gave us a thousand turnip seeds. Who eats a thousand turnips? Nobody wants that. So what would really help, what we need is access to food. We need either food that we can grow that we would want to eat, not turnips, um, or what would be even better is we need a grocery store. So if you really want to help, like in the short term, yeah, we could like dig out the garden and plant stuff, but what really we need is people like telling the city that we need help getting a grocery store here. And Amanda went, you don't have a grocery store? And Teddy said, no, the closest one is 45 minutes away by bus. Have you ever tried to carry ice cream 45 minutes on a bus? Amanda went, well, no. So, Meanwhile, Amanda and Tiny were talking. Uh, Poppy Cesar saw Tiny's mother and he started chatting with her. And, you know, so the parents got together and they, they had the parent conversation about like, yeah, we really need a grocery store and how do we make that happen? So they swapped phone numbers. 
And they went home and they texted and Papa David and Papi Cesar and teacher Mike started organizing the people in Amanda's community to write letters to the mayor to say, we need to help the folks in Walden get a grocery store. And Tiny organized her scout group and her church group to come down with actual shovels and help dig the soil in the garden. And eventually, not only did they get a grocery store, but Amanda learned a really important lesson. If you talk to somebody, if you listen to somebody, not only do you find out how you can actually help them, you get to be friends. Thank you for listening to my story.